I'm Maya and I'm learning to transform a riverland in central Portugal into an off-grid sustainable homestead. In this episode I welcome another volunteer to my home and together we start tackling a huge task to rebuild and prepare the old stone wall for damp proofing. Because the stone houses are built into the hill and they need to be sealed before I can move in there. Last week the excavator dug up two connected walls in the hill and the next step is to strengthen the lower wall but the trench was not deep enough so there's definitely some heavy labor in this video. Also we've been working in the garden a little bit and I'm gonna take you along for that. I'm having a rough day today. I just got home from a day out and the pump was going full time. All of this wall is completely soaked. Ah. Well, I love how refreshing off-grid living is. This elbow into the house for some reason is leaking, obviously. And now I just blanked it off and still this pipe is not working so it's something must be wrong with that piece of pipe it's so terrible when you come home and the pump is going full time and you know something is wrong and it discharged quite a lot of the solar battery so this can become quite dangerous all of this is completely soaked okay what i will try to do is just put the tap here Let's try this. Scream if it leaks. So I'm going to turn on the pump again. That was refreshing after this hot summer day. It was 42 degrees in the shade today. I think that's 105 Fahrenheit. But I just really need to water the trees. So dear pump, next try. Please, please, I don't want it to leak. Yay, it's not leaking. This one is doing so bad. I think it needs some fertilizer. Next is the little apple tree. For the walnut trees down here, I still need to get a longer hose pipe. Until now, I just need to carry buckets. This noise is the pump going, so it's super important that it stops after watering. Otherwise, it means I have a leak. Now the garden and I'm done. And the tap seems not to leak, so that's a good sign. <laughs> Look at the sunflower, finally it's flowering. Good morning! I didn't trim in a long time and now I need to cut the hedges. Volunteer Mike from England just arrived. And we're putting up his tent now. He wants to sleep down there on the river terrace. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I need to just come and tell me that. <laughs> 
Mike is a gardener from the Liverpool area and it's also his dream to live self-sustainable on his own land. And he's now helping me to dig out the wall up there more, which I'm super grateful for. And I'm just starting to strim because the weeds have grown so much in the last two weeks. So let's go. Now I'm freeing that lower part and then the river terrace down there so that Mike has also an access to his tent because right now the weeds are quite high. And also the garden in front of the cabin is full of weeds. I'm finally taking out the wood that was stored under the cabin here because it's really starting to rot down there. So time. This wood needs to dry now in the sun. I'm not sure if it's still usable as firewood. We'll see. I should have removed all the wood and soil and plants from the cabin before last winter, but better late than never! You're so pretty! Why are you just napping? This guy is amazing! He already strimmed this whole terrace! Oh my god! Huge! It's like a ship or an island. I think they tried to burn it. As soon as Mike saw this old olive stump, he was unstoppable in removing it. <laughs> That's massive wood. I'm gonna I'm gonna water the fruit trees. The grapes are ready now. They're so good. 
and last year they didn't have any so I'm so happy to just have fruits here good morning I need to finish hedge streaming the entrance the choke didn't work and Mike was able to fix it now so cool now the streamer works again such a relief It's a tight workspace, so how can we work together in the best way in this situation? We figured that Mike would smash the rocks with a pickaxe and I would take the dirt out in the buckets. It took some time to figure this out. Are we done? Looks so amazing! Look at this smooth surface! Yay! Seems like today we're never gonna stop. I'm just removing a bit old plaster from the top. But most importantly, the trench is now about half a meter deeper, which makes it deep enough also for the grill area to become a room in the future. Now we needed to take out some more stones, so we filled up the trench again. <laughs> and this is the level we can go to of the thickness of the wall. So after this crazy hard work yesterday, today we're going to start to build up the wall. Wish us luck! We're gonna start the cement mixer now and figure out the best way to get the cement down into the hole. So we attach a hose to that pipe so you can just put it in the cement Oh mixer. yeah, good idea, yeah. Beautiful bed for a foundation. And our idea is to bring the buckets with the cement down on this rope. What? Four to one and one stone. Four mm -hmm. sand, one cement, one stone. Yeah? Yeah. It's 
soup of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Successful! Yeah, right. Keep it moving! The puzzle begins! Fitting rocks into each individual hole and filling the gaps with concrete. I'm so tired. <laughs> Time for another mix. Quite some progress. I'm super happy. And it's amazing that we can actually build a wall. I never thought I could. And now I'm learning to do it. It's such an amazing feeling. Mike has been removing this huge olive stump. I've got a new toy. A big axe, finally. <gasps> <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. Please be careful. Wow. You're wood chipping the whole gun. And it smells beautiful. Oh wow, true. My tank is full. Yeah, drinking here. I think that's it. First mix of the day! This is such a nice workplace because in the morning it has sun and then when it gets hotter it's in the shade. So what we're gonna try to do is that I will continue on this side here to finish all the bottom. Mike is going to fix the connection to the other house and let's see how far we can get. Let's go! No matter what I'm told, I know that I'm free. What a day! I'm just finishing the last bucket now. Mike is so nice to clean the cement mixer. It's a long process, it's a slow process. So it needs a lot of patience, but we're getting there. Mike managed to smash off this big rock. There was always making a, an edge there and now it's a nice almost straight line. I went ahead on the bottom of this wall. So now we have all the bottom part. Mike fixed the edge of the house, the corner of the wall, and continued over here. 
so yeah i'd say lots of progress for a day but it's quite painful on the knees for me because it's a tight space here and you kind of have to kneel down the whole time it really starts to look like a wall a little sneak peek into next week's video and thank you for being here <laughs>